<laughs> I see that. <laughs> Very impressed. I feel like for this guy specifically, if I were to have made this game, I yeah. would have added a very subtle sound effect of <laughs> just in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are talking to Ekel or Ekel or Ekel. Yeah, he sees that and he's very impressed. Uh, <laughs> but you just let all those people in here dead. All the women and children with you dead. And thanks for killing the only ones holding this place together, Skull. What are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before more refugees notice. If I knew there were fighters in Navarro outside, I would have brought you in. I'm Ekel, and I'm in charge here. You heard about the chieftain? We heard he's hiding out in the Great Hall. Oh, really? Think you mean hiding out in a grave? He's eating worms, if that wasn't clear. What happened in here? As soon as they heard dredge were coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's the short story, anyway. At least three clans in here warring over turf and food, and the worst of the godforsaken Varl. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if simply stating the obvious. We're in more danger here than out there? Look, I was in charge before things went to crap. You You've got some people who can fight. You've got your own Varl. That counts for something. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall. You fight for me and to take back Frostfeller. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. Fine, <laughs> cut those sheep loose and watch your own asses. What do I care? All I want to do right now is get out of the damn streets. Think carefully about what you want. I think we're going to fend for ourselves inside Frostfeller. We know yeah. that the supplies are here. We don't need this asshole's support. I think we're fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope we do. I hope we do. <laughs> <laughs> of course, knowing the outcome of this scenario, mm, being yep. inside that town is just all around not. It's better than the alternative. I mean, is it though? Yeah, if you're outside the town when it cuts back to Rook, uh, like if you selected to be outside, then you start with half as many supplies and people. Okay, that's pretty fair. Yeah. I actually... Do they, do they display that somehow? Yeah. Uh, at the end of this, we had like 469 people. We had 110 fighters and... Uh, oh, so what will probably happen is when we go back to Rook, it's going to have one of those little text blurbs mm -hmm. to be like, hey, this is what's yeah. happened. So now we're back to following Hacken's story with Moger and... Vogner, right? I, I, I don't even know how you remember these names. I remember Hacken and I remember... A few of the humans, and that's about it. I remember them mostly because they're 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 really effective naming schemes. Like Scandinavian names are very easy for like English speakers to just sort of lock into because they tend to be trochees. They tend to be one vowel mm. sound, a consonant sound, and then another vowel sound followed by a consonant. Uben. So Uben, Hacken. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty fair. Luden, Moger. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right, so are we... Sorry, I, I skipped through this whole scene while I was looking at people's names. Um, we have a choice here. Mm -hmm. We can either uh, keep Luden with us, or we can send him home. Um, if Luden stays, then we gain Luden and his, like, his archery follower, who I hate. We also Scarlet get Witch. his Varl. We get his Varl, but his Varl is, like, a slightly less good version of Gunulf, and we're gonna keep Gunulf alive. I mean, they're both going to get injured on the battlefield, so... Do we want to keep Luden around just for his Varl, then? I generally would say so. I All mean, right. what's the benefit of letting him go? We sure. just lose people. I feel like forcing him to stay is the more pragmatic decision. Yeah, valid. Wandering Rose is not an option with this many. I could crush that boy's skull. <laughs> if Luden won't be deterred, you'll have to deal with it. Don't let him get to you. Let's go. I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors? Um... We don't stab until he's retained. I, I mean, be cautious. We don't want to lose anybody. There's no point in getting into pointless battles. Yep. All right. It's pretty enough. much the way I see it. Every time I've played through this, I've, I've covered the mountainside with dredge bodies. Just because, <laughs> like, I, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, personally, that's how I feel, right? But yeah. I'd ask how you're dealing with Vogner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady old Moger, which is good. I know most of these Varl, but they're not under my command. They came to follow Vogner. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Let's get back to it. I don't need to know any of this stuff. Yeah, nonsense. Who no. cares? Played through this game 20 times. <laughs> I don't think any really significant decisions get made during that either. I mean, maybe you build some sort of relationship. I don't think that... I don't think that's a thing in this game, though. Yeah. There's no underlying relationship yeah. system. Bogner? No? Uh, well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business, but I never knew him. I never got the chance to talk much. Longer than I did, in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Varl listened. I knew that. I could use help there. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right Varl. Moger's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. 
Um, I heard you were a terror. What do you suppose happened to the sun? Get some rest. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. <laughs> a horse <laughs> born with a grudge. <laughs> All right, let's level some shit up. We've only got 16 um, renown right now, but... Is that... And that's because this is a separate party, or did we spend renown with... It's a separate party. Oh, okay. We, I we still have, like, almost 40 with the other party. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I didn't remember whether or not they... they um we're one in the same. Hacken is the only one that I can promote and I'm going to. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I think you make him a beast. Go like that? Uh, Armor break and exertion? Or do I just go straight for that? I think we're going to have other Varl that are the shield breakers. Yeah. I think it's better to make Hacken the powerhouse. Valid. Okay. Yep, let's do that then. All right. Uh, let's get out there and start. Is there a market Killing or anything? No, this is just the map. Yeah, I don't think so. Sometimes they have it a little bit off to the side where you don't really see it, but... I don't see it in this at all. Like, at all. Yeah, I, I think we're fine. God, this is so cool. <laughs> this game, it's just, it's, it's so... I'm just struck with the beauty of it constantly. You know, one thing that they do really well, sound design-wise, yeah. is they choose the points in which they have ambient sound and music very, very well. Mm -hmm. Um, traveling always has music, but then whenever we're in town, there's just kind of that silent eeriness. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to linger because you feel no. unsafe, but at the same time, you know that leaving is also the more dangerous thing to do. Yep. So it's... Look at that, says Moger. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as rush up there to slaughter them. Luden over here, so there's a do that's a dozen dredge headed towards Strand. You ask him when he started to care about Strand. I don't, he replies. I thought you did. You waste the time. Strand can handle it. It's a dozen dredge. Yeah, they're fine. We go chasing down every pack of dredge on the horizon. We'll be out here for a year, you add. He says no more. And that goes along with what we already said. Precisely. They can handle it. Akin, says Luden. You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp the first day and brace yourself. Well, like pompous boot step. Can we speak as equals? We can try. It seems <laughs> clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way. Am I right? I mean, we only kill them when necessary, right? Yeah. If necessary, you're not fooling anyone. Don't assume only the Varl can fight. Do you understand me? That is my banner we fly to Grafheim, the banner of Abarang. I insist on joining in battle. Almost gutted in your first encounter and ready for more? Whatever you like, Prince. And, uh, <laughs> I expected more resistance. From Vogner, maybe. They tell me you were his kender. That's why you're in charge now. Some sort of next of kin Varl thing? Don't you take on his responsibilities? doesn't mean I care what happens to you. <laughs> you better start. We'll both be kings someday. That's the last <laughs> thing I need to think about right now. Luton looks at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> oh, oh, that's Luton. good. Yes, I've got some characters with high exertion. It adds more willpower. That's great. I'm glad. Let's talk to the Scarlet Witch. Oh, she's cool. I don't like her. She's her, not good. Her... her combat abilities aren't good, no, but, but her story... Uh, is neat. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you that. Can we talk? No. A smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. <laughs> it's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, Varl and Fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them, she pulls an arrow, there's a flick of the wrist you don't quite catch, suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp is turned to watch. Don't tell me not to. She sounds cool, right? But then when she's in combat, it's like, nope, nope. Nope, nope, just another shitty archer. Hacken, you stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She puts a forefinger to her lips with this off. Shh, depart. I'm quite sure what to make of that. It's true. Characters with headgear are crazy. Universally, they're dangerously insane. Right? Is that like a like a get that guy a helmet joke? Like, I don't know. All right, so we're talking to, we're talking to what, what is this, Bercy? Is that his name? Bercy, yeah. Uh, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book reading type. You're Bercy. You're hacking. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? I had some questions. Say what you want to say. I love the Varl interactions. I won't keep you any longer. See you on the battlefield, O leader of Varl. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Luden alive. Got it? I don't think we gave him a chance, did we? Mm, no, he did. That's like the first... No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess I guess we didn't. <laughs> no, I don't know what you said there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, whatever. You can keep Luden alive. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, so this this is going to be my party for right now. Uh, Hacken... Wait, do I want... No, is Moger my armor breaker right now? 
Uh, he, we haven't ranked him up to no, be, but he, gets he will one more be. Level he will be, and he's actually better than. Yeah, Gunolf is another damage dealer. I'm gonna leave Gunolf to go last because is, I want him to clean up. Is Bercy another armor breaker? Yeah, Bercy's another. No, Bercy's a warhawk, the same as Gunolf is. He's another. Like, oh, okay, so they're both damage, damage dealers. Yeah, they are. And if you notice, they they look like almost like reskinned versions of each other. Oh yeah, they kind of are. See, there's one, and then there's the other. You know, while that might. Wow, yeah, they really do look the same. And actually, if I put them next to each other, it's really <laughs> easier. Oh, shit. Ah, whatever. No, I, I can oh. back to it. It's really easy. While that might feel like it's sort of a cheap way of doing it, um, it's not that bad, actually. It's really not. They're, you know, the colors make them look so different that you don't really like realize that unless you're looking at them. Yeah, unless you do exactly what I've just done here. And honestly, I bet you that's kind of what they did for a lot of the characters. Yeah. I bet they made a basic, like shape and skin and they kind of drew in the details and moved the around those are body. determined by class as well so like yes. the the warhawk they're always the same and i think their outfits are the same i don't know isn't that does does hacken have broken horns some character has broken horns at some point i think it's uh it's uh isn't it um oh it's the old guy yeah it's the ubin he's got broken horns doesn't he does ubin have broken horns the old guy. Oh, no, no, the, the old guy. I know who you're talking about. Uh, the uh, Varl, uh, like, chieftain or whatever he is. What's it? Starts with an S? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll meet him. Actually, I think I think we meet him right uh, three, two, one, now. Yeah, maybe at the next village. Yeah, I think he is at the next village. God, just that fucking mountain. Ah, oh, it's so good. I'm happy to stomp some slags as much as the next Varl, but I didn't join up to take orders from Hacken. Apparently he doesn't realize you're within earshot. Not willing to die for him, either. I'm just going to make my presence known. Yeah? Walk past him. Not sure Vogner would have been happy to hear that. You growl loudly, the Varl flinches as you walk past without looking in his direction. In the distance, <laughs> you can hear his friend laughing at his misfortune. <laughs> just, I mean, it's not often that we play a game and just, like, sit there staggered by the beauty of it. If games aren't art, then I would like you to tell me what this is. <laughs> I know, right? Small gathering of tents come into view. Group of merchants from the look of it. You ask what they're doing here. We camped out at the Godstone, leaving an offering to Dengler, as one does. Dredge start appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed, thought the Godstone would be safe, but or safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Uh, the way to Strand is clear. Do we want to trade with them? We have 11. The way to Strand is not clear. It is. It is. No, we just yeah. let some Dredge go in that direction. Yeah. But, I mean, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be clear. Probably is clear. They probably took care of it. Yeah, it's a dozen dredge. If they couldn't take care of it, then maybe they deserve extinction? It's true. The caravan slows unexpectedly. Word travels down the line, then to Moger, who tells you dredge, no, we're coming. Probably saw us back at Vaderfell and did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we'd plotted into them, but we saw them first. When's the last time you commanded a few hundred, Hacken? Asks Mogurt. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. Uh, yes, we'll engage in war. We give our army orders to fix the situation, but we'll also be prepared to get our own hands dirty. So, uh, here we go. There's 358 of them. We outnumber them, so I think we should charge in. I feel like when I've played this game, charging is almost always the answer. Yes, it is. Uh, the reason why is what charging does is it adds an extra dredge onto the enemy's side of the field when the battle oh, starts, okay. but it gives you the opportunity to continue the battle afterwards, which gets you more loot and stuff. Ah, yes. So uh, if, okay, you just do, if you just do formations, then you still have the option of continuing afterwards, but you don't get that extra dredge there, which means you, you lose that extra renown point. Hmm. Uh, if you do hold them off, then you lose a dredge off the actual number and you can't follow them in. And if you retreat, then you lose two dredge off the number it's like it's a way of adjusting your own difficulty. I always charge, always, and then I always fight more extra. Actions. Yeah, yeah, no, I pretty much do too because we get more renown that way. So and that's how you level up characters. That's how exactly. you buy supplies. That's how you buy equipment. That's how everything happens. Yeah, I guess design-wise, I understand why they presented it this way so that we don't know what each of those options do. But you kind of wish there. But was at the same time, I feel like. Like, without knowing this, yeah. I almost feel like it's poorly designed because I don't feel like there's ever a reason to not charge. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, if you're the type of person that charges in, but I'm willing to bet, like, if we say nothing about this portion of it mm -hmm. and we watch the other players' reactions, I know Nathan and Tony will charge, but I'm not sure Jen and Rachel will. I guess that's totally fair. It's possible they might adopt a different style. And it's also possible that their style in combat will be different, too. Like, I know for a fact that Nathan favors archers much more than I do. I, I, look, I look down on them. Yeah, Varl, Varl are the way to go. They're the way to go. They're, they're the way to go. It's, it's the right choice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we will uh, charge into battle next time. We will see you in the archives. Yep.